A new CDC survey finds one in five Minnesotans are not physically active. That's a big problem given exercise reduces your risk of obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and more. So what happens in our bodies when we do work out? Good question. Heather Brown found some answers at the Midway YMCA. What are we doing with this ball? Uh, working on my hips. I just know it feels good. Well, as human beings, that's what we're supposed to do. So that you can go do whatever crazy things you want to do. <laughs> we know exercising burns calories. For a while I worked out because I wanted to lose weight. But study after study after study shows it offers so much more. It's all about your body's adaptation to the movement itself. Jen Robb is a professor of exercise science at Hamlin. A lot of it comes down to the heart. And moving makes the heart work harder. It's able to create a stronger contraction and deliver even more oxygen and blood to the rest of your body. Why why do you need more blood and oxygen? It just really helps um, with tissue rejuvenation, tissue regrowth, and healing. You said your mood changed? Yeah, absolutely. It's just this release of endorphins, which is technically our happy hormone. We release endorphins when we see a dog or when we see someone that we love. To stay strong, you lift weights. Wherever you apply force, that causes damage to your bone and it causes it to rebuild stronger. Women that are in my age group, the thing that I think we fear most is slipping and falling and breaking a hip. It's more like an energizer, but when I don't work out, it's like I'm getting de-energized. It wakes your body up because it increases your metabolism. What you're able to do is just become more efficient at being you on a daily basis. I'm able to sleep a lot better. Sleep is basically your body's opportunity to just repair itself at night. So your body's kind of saying, I don't need this regeneration time because I didn't do enough to need it. The recommendations are 30 minutes a day, five days a week. You don't have to go to the gym. No, not at all. If you like dance, dance. Cleaning your house. If you like to do swimming, swim. You can do 10 minutes of gardening. You can take your dogs for a walk for 10 minutes. Well, thanks for taking a walk yeah. with me. <laughs> In St. Paul. Thanks for taking a walk with me. Heather Brown, <laughs> WCCO 4 News. Lots of new research shows that getting more oxygen to the brain can help with depression, anxiety, and cognitive ability as you get older. If you have a good question for Heather, just email it through wcco.com links.